This is a beautiful cabin on the Locust Fort River, and it's like none other on 10 acres. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, it's Chad Kemp, your Alabama land agent, and this is a beautiful 3,000 square foot cabin. It's four bedrooms, three full baths. You've got an apartment, you've got a garage, you've got another outbuilding, you've got beautiful pasture. It'd be a great place for a wedding venue, so follow me. Let's take a look. This property is located in Blount County, Alabama. It's close to Cleveland County. It's not too far from Hayden, Alabama, just off of Highway 160. It's actually on. It's actually off of Old Walker Road. If you're familiar with that, it's only 50 minutes to Birmingham, Alabama. You're only about an hour and 20 minutes to Huntsville, Alabama. Two hours from Chattanooga, Tennessee, and you're only about two hours and 40 minutes to Atlanta, Georgia. So it's very convenient. And this cabin was featured many, many years ago. They, they pulled it off the market because they really, really love this place. It's unique. It's on the Locust Fort River. And they call it Cabin Fever. And this is some older footage of the property when we had it listed. It's just a beautiful property. It's 12 acres. You've got pasture for horses. This is a four-bedroom, three-bath log home. It is just so unique. You've got fencing. It's about 3,000 square feet. It's massive. Then you've got an apartment like right there. That's an apartment there. So if you had people, but this is a unique property. It'd be perfect for a wedding venue. It'd be perfect for a bed and breakfast. It'd be perfect if you like to kayak and canoe and maybe whitewater raft. He's even got a float boat too. And talking about unique and you're talking about something that's just special where you can actually have cookouts and get-togethers and family functions. This place has it all. There's not a place like this. This place is just so unique and so special. Once you got it, you probably would want to sell it. And the only reason why this, this seller is selling this property, it's not because he doesn't love it anymore. He's just got several different properties, and this is a property that he's ready to um, sell it's got frontage on Henderson Creek that comes through the property. It's just a beautiful piece, as you can see. You got this nice little aerial shot of the cabin, and then that's the, um, the apartment there. It's kind of got an apartment garage. On one side, it's an apartment. On one side, it's a garage, and that's where he used to store his float boat. But he's recently added a very large workshop that's enclosed. It's done very nicely. It's got a uh, lean to to the side it is just a spectacular property and you need to come look because there's again there's nothing like this property you just outside of cleveland so you can do a little bit of shopping there They're, they've got like a little dollar general there this is the locust fort river and now this is when it was low now this this you know it it fluctuates throughout the year but we actually got a video of the locust fort towards the end of the video i mean there's fish in here you can fly fish for um, bass i've seen carp i've seen um spotted gar i've just seen a lot of different types of fish in here and it's just a beautiful spot it's got so many opportunities just not just from personal enjoyment but it actually can make money you could actually use this property and make money. And there is a wedding venue not too far from here. So people do come out to places like this and actually would have a wedding. So you could come out here and rent it out. It's actually got more space that you could actually add additional cabin space for grooms, for the brides if you wanted to, or let the bride have the house and then have a groom spot or convert the barn that's already there to be able to do that. It's just got so much opportunity. And not, not, we're just talking about venues. We're not even talking about the kayaking aspect. You could actually rent this out to kayakers or maybe you're a kayaking group. And maybe you're not from Alabama. Maybe you're from Tennessee. Maybe you're from Colorado. Maybe you're from somewhere, but you're familiar with the Locust Fort River. Well, you could easily um, kayak from a lot of different points. Actually, there's you could actually kayak six miles. You could drop yourself off at King's Bend and float all the way down to this property and and actually you're going to see that towards the end of the video so stay to the end of the video because we're going to actually have more information on that and you need to know that if you really like the water sports of that this is that building that he actually just recently built 
And it even has a drain and a floor that you can um, wash it out if you needed to, if it, something got muddy. But this cabin is just absolutely, they would consider, depending on um, the right buyer, they might would sell some of this furniture. They might even, depending on if it was a full price, they might even let some of it go. This is just a remarkable place. You will not regret coming to look. And it is, it's very nice. It's well done. It's got some unique features. There's actually some, um, what I would call a divot in the wood that he actually took some unique features right there and actually put them in there and then poured some acrylic to kind of add some unique features. It's just so well thought of. It is just so unique. It's just so feels like the smoky mountains when you get to the property and and you're in your own little world when you get there you're to yourself there's nobody else there's nobody else you're very private this is the new footage of the locust fort river this is when it's up you can tell that it's a lot higher up right now for this time of year this was took back in about uh, november but just look how pretty that is just absolutely gorgeous. So we're doing a flyover from the Locust Fort, and you can see Henderson Creek right there. And this is another good idea of, of the water here. This is when it's up. You're, earlier you saw it when it's kind of in the summertime. This is kind of more in the wintertime level for the Locust Fort. You wouldn't want to fly fish there, but this is Swan Bridge. Swan Bridge is about three miles from the property. You can drop in float down to the property and you're about almost four miles you're like 3.7 miles from swan bridge to the property and then the other spot we're going to go to which is king's bend and this is the swan bridge this is a uh, it's an old cover bridge but they got several in blunt county this is one of them you could come here you could drop out like these people and actually float down to the uh, property and then come back and do it again. You could even you could even do drop drop offs. Stay the night, build your cabins, drop it off, and then let them float. And then the other float place that you could drop them off at at is uh, it's going to be Kings Bend Overlook there on Highway Two Thirty One. That's between Cleveland and and between Bluntsville, Alabama. And it would be about a three point three eight mile um, boat ride down to the Swan Bridge. And then if you imagine floating from there all the way down to the property, now you're over seven miles. But this is some footage of what that looks like at King's Bend. But give me a call if you're interested in this property. It's so unique. We'll be more than happy to show it to you. And again, as always, I appreciate you watching these videos. It helps the seller, and, and I hope you really enjoy it. Thanks again.